hey guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel it's so good to have you thank you so much for always clicking i'm super excited that you are here especially to my returning subscribers thank you guys for clicking to my channel like clicking to this video when you saw it and in case you're seeing my face for the first time i am niger princess okay and it's so beautiful to have you come here and if you have not subscribed please do well to hit the subscribe button okay please do hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and of course i promise to give you content <laughs> so you are welcome please do hit the subscribe button and do give this video a thumbs up please please or oh, give this video a thumbs up all right so you guys you're welcome back again to my channel so today 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 we are actually going to be talking about the differences i've noticed in Uganda and of course in Kenya let me share with my the difference I've seen so far okay so you know that Kenya and Uganda are actually brothers and sisters <laughs> who said that but of course the East Africans and uh, uh, there's also a visa uniting them which you can use to travel to Kenya and to Tanzania to Uganda I think an East African visa I think it also covers for Rwanda I don't know I can't remember but you guys yeah so I'm going to be talking about this both country you know I've been in Kenya and right now I'm in Uganda so I'm going to be comparing them and telling the differences between Uganda and Kenya all right so you guys stick to this video let's start but I'll change it change it so the number one thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that, that there's a lot of sodas in Uganda, unlike in Kenya. Of course, they have sodas. I'm not saying they don't have soda. They have soda, but it's not that much. You have more of Coca-Cola, Pepsi. But here in Uganda, you have a lot of sodas, different kinds of sodas. Even the one you want to drink and the one that will turn you off and all of it. <laughs> so they have a lot of sodas in Uganda. But Kenya has the fewer ones which we are already used to. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, I don't know. But those that were the ones I was seeing mainly. So, but here in Uganda, sodas are just everywhere. A different thing I've also noticed is the fact that here, hmm, you guys, here actually, you cannot pay people uh, with a mobile money. You can't pay like you do it with a Tessa. You know, here, if you're sending someone... Uh, 120,000 Uganda shillings. You guys, you're going to add uh, charges for, you know, charges, taxes, whatever, okay, for withdrawal. And that's so annoying that I have to pay you for your service and I'm adding extra money. Now, aside that, not everyone actually do receive this money through their mobile money. They will say, please, I need cash. Unlike an M-Pesa in Kenya where we use M-Pesa and you can actually send someone 20 shillings, 10 shillings, even the market women, everyone has, you know, everybody's used to cashless society. But here, they are actually not used to cashless society. And this leads me to go into, you know, mobile money shops every time to go with your money just to pay debt, pay, buy something, go to the supermarket. Guys, even in the supermarket, they do not have mobile money. And it's so annoying. Like, you want to pay and they will tell you, cash <laughs> okay even if they're going to accept more buy money some of this for market we actually tell you to pay to one of the custom uh, one of the uh, customer service you know their phone uh, with their phone number pay to them then add your withdrawal charges then that's how they do it you guys and it's so annoying really <laughs> it's very annoying at least you guys should let us pay with mobile money <laughs> in uganda they are uh, matatus which is known as taxi in uganda they do not play music in there and uh, they don't play music unlike in kenya where of course the matatu you can't go into a matatu without your dum -dum 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 -dum, you know <laughs> you can't but here you actually cannot go into a matatu and hear music and of course the matatus in kenya are very very neat like they're very neat. They're, they're kind of new, newer than what we have here in Uganda. Here in Uganda, their boxes are not really very nice. I, I'm telling you the truth. They're not really nice. And uh, ah, like if you're just sitting there, I'm, anyway, let me just say they're not really as nice as the ones in Kenya. Okay, so that's the difference, you guys. I, I think I prefer the one in Kenya. Okay, even though that some people are not okay with the plenty music blowing up and down in Matatu. But of course, it's already part of us and we're 
people are getting used to it. I got used to it at some yeah, point. Yeah, there are actually a lot of free places to visit. Like you have so many places to visit. You have varieties, especially in Nairobi, in Mombasa. But here being the capital city, which is Kampala, you guys, there are actually few places you can visit. Like they don't have a lot of places. So in case you want to come to Kampala, you could you can be thinking of going to Jinja, going to Entebbe, if you want to experience beach life and all. So they don't have a lot of that here. In fact, I don't I've not seen a beach here. I've asking where is a beach here? No beach here. You have to go to Entebbe or you know Jinja where they have the waterfall, the source of the Nile. But in camp in uh, Kenya, which the, the two places I visited in Kenya, Mombasa and Nairobi, you have so many things you can do. Like, you can't be bored. You can't say you're bored. Like, you can't say there's no places to visit. I'm tired and I, I don't know where else to go to. There's always a place to go to. Everywhere is always bubbling. But here, you know, I just have limited places to visit. <laughs> in Kampala, there are too many border borders. You guys, so many border borders. So many border borders in Kampala. Especially on the highway, it's one of the major major transportation here. Everybody's on border. Everybody, like you want to get to your destination fast. But that is your, you know, your target should be your target, should be your major aim. Okay. So, but here, but in Nairobi, it's actually not like that. In Kenya, it's actually not like that. They have border. Yes, quite alright. There is border, but not as, uh, you know, not. Not as much as it is in Kampala. Matoke is actually a staple food in Uganda. <laughs> they actually do have variety of food in Uganda, like a lot of it, because there's so many cultures, they have different tribes, you know, and every tribe has their own kind of food here in Uganda. But Matoke is generally accepted, just like in Kenya, where then their staple food is ugali. Before you come to Kenya, I'm sure that once you start making research about Kenya, you know, type of food in Kenya, the food, in fact, even before typing food, you're seeing ugali everywhere because it's a staple food there, okay? Well, here in Uganda, their staple food is matoke. <laughs> it's matoke, okay? Yeah. In Uganda, their butcheries are actually not, you know, as neat as that of Kenya. You you can step into a butcher shop here and it's wide open just like in nigeria where i'm coming from you know their meat is just wide open everybody can see but in kenya they have a shop for butchery shop if you say you are a butcher man you're going to have a shop you're going to have a show glass where your meat is going to be displayed you have a freezer and all but here the meat is always you know they're always hanging their meat everywhere you know it's actually just bare now another thing you guys is the traffic like traffic you know obeying traffic rules ugandans don't obey traffic rules they don't you can actually see uh a taxi or a border guy you know see that the red light is on and you know he just look here and look here you see that no vehicle is coming guy he has take off <laughs> he has gone and nobody chasing after him but in Kenya, you see a traffic light, everybody's going to stand still. We're all going to be there. We are all, like, I've not experienced, you know, people trying to, you know, go against traffic orders and all. But here, yeah, I've seen it countless times. Sometimes I'll be shouting at the, you know, the border guy, guy, take it easy, you're carrying people, human beings, we're not siding. Why are you car why are you running like this now? Eh? So these guys will just you know take off without even minding. The other day he almost hit a vehicle because you know he was trying to run away from traffic and all of it. Why not wait for your own turn? So guys it is what it is. In Uganda it's actually very very easy for you to become a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You didn't expect that. When you come to Uganda, let me tell you, let me tell you, with as little as $300, $400, you guys, you are already a millionaire. Like, you can just call yourself, but why not millionaire? <laughs> you can actually become a millionaire when you are in Uganda with just $400. <sighs> yeah, God. Okay, but in Kenya, $1,000, you're not even close to a millionaire. When I came in, I changed $1,000. What I got was 100,000 Kenya shillings. And it's not close to being a millionaire when you can die. If you have your money, 100,000 Kenya shillings, it's a lot of money here in Uganda. It's close to maybe 
maybe let's just say two point something million <laughs> but it's so amazing that you know they have so many millionaires in uganda <laughs> Okay, but that that is it. Okay, if you want to become a millionaire very fast, like you want to answer the title millionaire, come to Uganda, settle in Uganda with your money and you're a millionaire. <laughs> but I also hear people say their money is so much, they have big, big money, they you can actually uh, change hundred dollars and into full one bag. You guys, it's not actually like that, it's not true. It's not true. Don't be saying what you don't know. It's not true. Okay. So the truth is that you can have fifty thousand Uganda shillings. Is actually a note. Okay. You have twenty thousand in a note. You know, ten thousand. That's another list. It's a fact that the cost of living in Uganda is relatively affordable than that of Kenya. You guys, I'm telling you the truth because Ugandans are farmers. And the cost of living here is very affordable, especially in terms of food, rent, in terms of food and rent, yeah? Things here are very affordable, okay? Very, very affordable, unlike in Kenya that you have to really spend, okay? Now, when I say spend, not really you're spending much in Kenya because even food also is affordable. For me, I think food is also very much affordable. And rent is almost, is actually very affordable in Kenya, but it's not compared to you know what ugandans have that here is really affordable you can get a one bedroom flat here for for four hundred thousand uganda shillings and that's approximately uh i don't know you guys you guys check it <laughs> if i find it i'm going to drop it here okay so but it's actually not really a very expensive it's something you can you know really do it okay so that is it that is the difference between Kenya and Uganda have found that so far and then come to Uganda enjoy you know food you know ride on borders and all of it you know cost of living is very free you guys thank you so much for coming to my videos thank you so much for watching and in case you have not subscribed you can subscribe on subscribe subscribe <laughs> subscribe <-o. laughs> okay you guys if you have not subscribed do kindly do subscribe give this video a thumbs up see even if you don't subscribe just like my videos so that people can see the videos a lot of people can see my video i beg you in the name of god just like this video i beg you okay mm -hmm. thank you so much you guys thank you so much for watching until i come to your way next time just know that i love you and god love you more okay <laughs>